I'm Taylor Sumrall. So this is our family business. Um, I'm the store manager for Taylor Made Designs, and uh, my mom, Lynn Braddock, is okay. And how did Taylor Made Designs get started? It actually started, the business started 26 years ago um, based on an idea my mom had. And um, a friend saw it and wanted, um, she actually made picture frames and wanted a picture frame, and then one of their friends saw it and wanted one, and she kind of was like, I think I can make a business out of that. And um, it was 26 years ago, and then 16 years ago, we opened a storefront business um, after a couple of changes and things like that. Um, she used to be based out of her home. We just celebrated 16 years in our downtown Opelika store, okay. um, which is we think is a big deal. Um, <laughs> People don't realize if they've been here that 16 years ago there was no Tiger Town. Yeah. <laughs> so we've gone through the building of that and the kind of changing demographics of Opelika in the city based on that. And um, we've been through a couple presidents and a recession. And, um, you know, for a small business to last 16 years, it, it really says something about staying power and hopefully our creativity and creating, you know, a nice place to shop for people. Um, it, to us, it's a big deal because not everybody not everybody makes it 16 years. Not even chains yeah. make it 16 years. Sometimes. So why do you think you've been able to make it so long? Um, we're really lucky. We can provide um, a wide array of products for people, and um, that can keep them coming back for birthdays and people in their family. They can mm -hmm. get different gifts. And then a couple of years ago, we launched our only in a like a section which is a whole line of uh, souvenir products based on our own designs. Mm -hmm. And um, people love the town they live in. So it's been um, greatly supported by people who live here, people who move away, um, people who visit and travel and want to say, I was in this really cool mm -hmm. tiny town. <laughs> um, so that's actually been a fun new thing that we've, we've kind of created. Um, and we add new designs so everything can be kind of like collections yeah. so that you can get, you know, we do one run of mugs and then when they're gone, they're gone, we do a new design. So you can kind of collect our designs as we go along. How were you able to expand from frames to jewelry to even like these little tchotchkes over here? <laughs> um, a lot of it has been self-taught. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of, you have to evolve in a business over time. Um, otherwise, people won't keep coming back. They yeah. want new ideas. They want um, whatever's trendy. So you have to, some of it, you, you force yourself into evolving and learning a new skill, coming up with a new idea. Um, we're really lucky that um, we make a pretty good creative team and all of a sudden it's like a light bulb will go off and we'll have a new idea, mm -hmm. um, which keeps people interested. Um, obviously the gift store part kind of goes with having a store. Um, it's a good balance to having jewelry mm -hmm. and pick up fun stuff. So that, that we obviously don't make, but it kind of fills out the store. And how has this uh, been a big change from when it first started? Because I know probably <laughs> social media wasn't really around for that. No, there was, <laughs> there was no social media when we started 26 years ago. Um, 16 years ago, there wasn't anything either. I mean, you did the newspaper, you did word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's definitely a different ball game, but I think it, it's all for the better because um, it gets more of your images and, and more of your name out there a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, I think people still enjoy you know, hearing that I got something really cool from Taylor yeah. Made and that, that kind of just helps social media. It's all tied together. Um, but it's definitely... A good frontier. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure you've saw the differences between then and now. And oh, it's a whole different <laughs> animal. I mean, um, it has its own its own rules, and they change all the time. And um, it's it's definitely different markets because my generation is different on social media than my parents' generation on yeah. social media. So you kind of have to think about that in everything that you're doing, who you're going to target, who you want to see it. Um, if you have to pay to have it seen with all the rules on Facebook and things like that. So it's very interesting to, to navigate social media, but um, it's it's a part of our world and it doesn't bother me too much. And I'm sure you have like wide range of demographics. Oh yeah. Young, older. And Definitely. So you kind of have to, I mean, we still do newspaper ads because there's several of my customers that don't own a smartphone mm -hmm. and they will never do social media. So, um, and then some people, that's all they look at. They don't get their news unless it yeah. pops up on Facebook. So what is your favorite social media platform? I personally like Instagram. Um, there's, to me, a lot less ads. Mm -hmm. And if there are ads, you can easily skip them. Yeah. I think Facebook has gotten kind of bogged down with um, people who pay for stuff. And it's making small businesses kind of get missed. Um, which, if that's what their goal is, that's fine. I mean, you just know that mm -hmm. going into it. But um, I, I actually personally like Instagram a lot. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs>
And if you had any advice for any local business getting started, what would be your advice? Getting started, um, do your research. Um, I don't think people understand how small businesses are a labor of love. Mm -hmm. um, you have to learn taxes and you have to learn accounting rules and um, you know, you wear a lot of hats, which if you're prepared for that, it's the best job in the world because it's extremely rewarding. Um, you get to interact with your customers on a daily basis, person to person. Um, usually you're the boss or pretty close to the boss. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's nice having a really small environment, um, like for a work environment, that's extremely nice. But um, you, you do a lot of things when, when you're a small business, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it takes. And how would you get your word of mouth to it for any local business? How do you get your word out? Um, I would say just keep trying to advertise. Um, find out what works best for your demographic. And then um, if you give your customers a great experience, they'll help you in spreading the word as well. It's amazing how good a recommendation is.